So we're here today, Grant Butler, and we're going to look at his amazing Ford collection. And you just counting them up, we reckon you've got 17? 17, at last count. I probably forgot a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to look around your favourite ones and some of the most iconic ones, so I'm not sure where to start, but we'll probably start right here. So Grant, you've got two Escort Cosworths. Greedy. You got yeah, greedy, yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're, I know you're going to try and get one in every colour, but at the minute you've got this one, yep. and you've got the one over your shoulder. We'll get to that in a minute. And this one's a modified one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this one has been a ground up restoration on this one. Uh, but we've got this originally. It's just standard. Uh, underside is really rotten on it. I'd so rather than make something standard, everybody's got it. Let's do something completely custom and really wind up the purists. <laughs> Because the interior is lovely on it as well, so I mean everything looks like you've had everything covered in leather in there. Yeah, everything's done in uh, an apple leather with a custom design to match the, the cross hatch that you get on the, the, the bigger turbo ones um, with the cloth interior with the hex on it. But I've had all the dash done and leather, the roof's done as well, as well as A, B's and C pillars, so full cow. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two. Yeah, maybe two or three, yeah. yeah. Uh, under the bonnet, you said, I think you said off camera, it's around 400 horsepower. Yeah, it? yeah, just shy of 400. It's around 389, three, it ran. Um, but it's it's on a Vipec ECU, fully forged engine, bigger turbo and whatnot. So it's sings and dances well, keeps up. Yeah. You've done everything on it, but the only thing you said is still original is the paint, but everything else is nothing but. Yep, I, we basically took it down and put it onto a spit. And the paint's, the paint's not perfect, but I want to drive it. So there was no point in spending money on a good paint job for it and then, you know, sitting up someone's backside and <laughs> getting stone chips on it. So uh, we decided to keep that original. We gave the front a blend in just to kind of tidy up a touch, but everything else is as it was. It was pretty good that way. It was the only decent part that was in the car yeah. <laughs> when I got it. Um, and then if we go over to your Aubergine one, mm -hmm. and I believe this is your most recent purchase. Yep. So tell us about the story of why you need two and not just one Escort Cosworth. Uh, it's an addiction. You know, it's like <laughs> people go and drink alcohol at the time and I'm just can't help but buy folds. Um, I was actually looking for a white Escort Cosworth because I, I really wanted white and the black to match the, the sapphire. Well, we'll talk about that one in a minute. Yeah, um, but the, this one came up and uh, I did a deal with my friend and it's sitting here now. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's just completely as it was yeah, yeah, come out of the factory. Completely standard car other than the set of the rondels on it, but we have got the standard fuels up in the corner. So if I wanted to put it back to completely standard, we can with no issues. Everything else is as it was, it left the factory on it. There's nothing being fettled with. It's not being restored. It is a low miles and unchucked about with car. <laughs> yeah. So I mean we you know, we've got to go over quite a lot more cars, but you actually use these, don't you? I mean, I yeah, know yeah. you've got some that you're building and they're the projects and you've got some massive projects on the go, but you, your enjoyment comes from driving. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in like keeping the car good for someone else to drive. It's, these are for me. You know, if I'm finished my work, whenever I get it finished, then I can at least take out whatever car I want and just go and enjoy the driving it. There's always a, as a young boy, I always wanted to have a, a car collection. It was never the big fancy houses and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd rather have, you know, live in a hovel but have cool cars, you know, yeah. that's the thing. But yeah, every single one of them gets driven when I can. It's not like, a, a, you know, even with this one being as, as pristine as it was, but we'll still take it out a run, you know, and, and the likes of this one, it's great for taking to shows no matter where you go. Okay? So, it's, yeah. uh, so you, you say you've got 24 cars? Yeah. And 17 of them are Fords? Are Fords, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fords is kind of in the blood. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you the car that kind of started it all um, uh, towards the end of the video, but it was just my dad had this Sierra at first, and I remember pulling in the drive, and I thought, that is one cool car. And then the more I looked into the Fords side of things, it's like, oh, they've got Cosworths and they've got XR4 eyes, and it just opened up for the air. I was just like, it has to be Fords. <laughs> okay. You know, all my friends are Vauxhall fans, and like, oh, I'll be the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> You've got both of these cars here, mm -hmm. and you had to choose one. You had to, you had to just. If my life depended on it. Yeah, it's a massive fire, and you've, got to, <laughs> you've only got time to take one of the cars out. What one are you saving? It would have to be this one. Okay. This one's more my style. I don't like anything. Although that standard is, a, I can appreciate it, but this thing's more my style. I love custom. Everything has to be different. 
I don't like to pull up at a show or go to shows and you've got something that's like so generic. I like the fact that, you know, people will talk about the car and go, oh, he's changed the interior and that. Oh, it's, that's not original, that's not original. I like that because then it makes it completely different to anyone that's about. Sure, it's getting the, you know, folk have got these wheels and whatnot, but, you know, they're not running the big spacers, the big brakes, you know, underside's not done like, you know, like a purist would do it. Yeah. You know, undersides all you know fancy colours and whatnot. So yeah, that's what the side's all about, isn't it? So it's yeah, you got to be a signature on a car. Yeah. You know, if it's parked up, folk know it's your car rather than someone else's. You know, can't confuse it. <laughs> you know. A second ago, you mentioned the SAF that's standing behind us. So another Cosworth. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this one? Or? No problem. Obviously, you bought all these cars in here, but you didn't buy this one, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't. This this was bought by my wife for my fortieth. Going away my age now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I look, they're young. But yeah. I, I couldn't decide, I really wanted a Sapphire about, um, obviously about three, four years ago, and I couldn't decide on it, and I kept on, kept on seeing this one, hummed and hawed, should I buy it, should I not, should I buy it, should I not, and I waited to work for a couple of weeks, come back for work, and it was sitting in the driveway waiting for me, so I was like, but, you know, I was kind of astounded, but yeah, so the wife bought me it for my, my 40th, well, she's not actually a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, it's better than my 40th birthday present, but then I don't have a wife, so. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Um, is this one standard? Obviously, it's not. It's on the you know the iconic Ford wheels. The comp yeah, I've actually got, I've got loads of different wheels for this one. I like to kind of change it up now and again. So I've got Escort Cosworth wheels on it, but no, it's not standard. No, um, it has. We've got a Ford's engine in that as well. It's only running the kind of stage one. It's more for making. Uh, I say stage one. It's tuned to make it a decent power. So it's a reliable 250. No, no more than that. It's still standard internals, like it's obviously gearbox, uh, back diff and whatnot, but it drives sweet as a nut, so you don't really want to mess about them too much unless you want problems. Okay, so this is a 4x4, four and four. Uh, you say you're probably going to at some point add just a rear wheel drive. I think it'd be rude not to. Yeah, I think you know, so. I think it'd be rude not to. I think you've, you've got the other iconic Sierra in here as well, mm -hmm. you know, which is the, the three door. Um, the three door. Yeah, yeah. So that's where we're heading now. No problem. So I, I sort of share a bit of a passion with you for the three door because it's probably the car that ignited my car passion because my dad had one when I was about five, six years old. So you had to get one of these. Obviously, if you've got a cool Ford collection, you've got to have a three door Sierra Cosworth. Definitely. Um, that was the biggest thing. When I decided, I wasn't sure whether to get one or not. I know that sounds really daft, but the money the fl was fluctuating them at the time and then they just skyrocketed. I mean, they went like north. Well, I so remember they used to be about seven, eight grand. They, yeah, they yeah. I, me I remember I had, like my first three door, I had one when I was younger. I remember I couldn't sell it for like, three and a half thousand pounds, you know, and I was struggling. I think I let it go for three. And I'm like, now that same car is, you know, 65, 70 grand. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> so that's why I was like, that, you know, humming on. But I, I got this for a half decent price. It needed a bit of work done to it. Um, with especially with engine, it would have, I bought my knock on it, so it was perfect for me. I, I like projects rather than buying something at you know top end dollar. I'd rather buy it, you know, needing work done, fix it, then I know exactly what's done to it. So it's you know projects like that can I go for. Yeah, it. And then you've put a bit of your self into it as well. Yeah, pretty you? much. I mean, this one's the exterior. Why we've not really had, touched it at all. The engine work's obviously been done in this one. This change of wheels because the original wheels that were on it were sitting like mm -hmm. a skateboard and hitting arches every every bump. But yeah, uh, it's just a. There's one I had to have. I, I really wanted a white one, if I'm honest, because yeah. I wanted the white Gescourt Cosworth, the white SAF, and then the white three-door. But the way it worked out, well, well, you still black and black. Still time, isn't yeah, it? yeah. I took yeah. the wife into painting. That one was diamond white. It is diamond white, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's diamond white, yeah. Oh, just that. <laughs> um, you mentioned the engine a minute ago. Do you want to pop yeah, up on it? Sure can. So, originally when we, we got this one up the road, it was chapping. Like we'd had this really bad knock on it. So my friend John Balfour who helped me build this one, took this in, um, dropped the engine straight out it, and what we found was the um, oil dipstick had snapped and someone had shoved it right down and into the, the sump oh. and that had coiled around about obviously the crank and was making this knocking noise. But instead of you know, pulling it out, they just put another dipstick in it. <laughs> so that's what pushed it in further. So we've ended up, we've had to fully rebuild this. Uh, and while it was out, we as well, we forged it. <laughs> you know, forged it and changed the turbo and stuff like that. So it's it's uh, it's running about 550, 560 horse at the moment. It's but a bit less fun. It's fun in the rear wheels anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's try to keep it in a straight line when it comes on boost is quite, quite an effort, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Escort or Sierra Cosworth? 
See, that is a tough one. Like, you ask anyone that's actually got maybe two of these. Um, in all honesty, I would probably go for the Escort, just for a wee bit more refining, and uh, you can keep this in a straight line in the corners a bit easier. Because if this comes on boost on a corner, you're, you're fighting, you know? Uh, you don't want to keep it. Uh, you want to keep it in the black stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I'll go for the Escort as well. Okay, so that's a few of your Cosworths covered off, but now can we head to the Escort behind you, which isn't a Cosworth, and it's not an RS either, is it? But we'll no. let, let's talk about that. <laughs> so Grant, if we can talk about this one now. So I know it's not quite as it seems, and it also you've got quite a cool little plan for it down the line. If you yeah. Tell us a bit about that, it'd be great. So everybody thinks this is obviously a Series 1 RS Turbo. Yeah. And as soon as I put a picture of it on Instagram or Facebook, for like, oh, it should be way, you know, but it's not, an, it's, not a series, it's not a genuine Series 1 RS Turbo, it is a, an XR3i with the RS Turbo conversion on it. So it is, everything you see on it is Series 1, kits, genuine, you know, bonnets, engine, yada, yada, yada. Um, but the plan is I'm going to rip this to bits and I'm going to put a full Focus ST into this. So we'll run the five pot, um, all the gearbox, interior, yada, yada, and make it look. I just love this car, and the, but the reliability of RS Turbos is a, is a no-go. Yeah. Um, but if you put a Focus engine and all its ancillaries into an Escort body, it then becomes usable. You could use this as a daily if, if I wanted. Yeah. Plus you've got a bit of horsepower uh, underneath. Yeah, well, another cool car. Are you going to keep the colour green? Yeah, yeah, I bought the car because of the, the colour. It was the colour, was colour. I mean, it needs a paint job. I mean, it was painted back in 92. I was going to say, it's such a 90s colour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? It's Porsche, um, Porsche Peppermint Green. Right. Uh, as a colour. It was a lot brighter, but like in sitting outside, it's, it's faded through the time. Um, but I will get a full new paint job on it. I'll go in a spit. And we'll get it done right. This is this is my long, long term project because this is, this is probably one of my favourite ones in the collection. And your favourite one in the collection, I think, is in my own sight over there. Yeah. Which you can't see, but we're going to go over there right now. So we do that. Deal. So we've just gone through some of the most iconic falls ever made. And now we're going to go on to your favourite one that you've built. And I'm quite surprised that it's more of a modern fall. So it's a Mark II RS Focus or Focus RS. Um, but yeah, can you tell us about it, Ron? Yeah, of course. Um, this, this is my pride and joy. This is like my baby, baby. This is a, uh, I call it Blaze. <laughs> and you can tell it is because we're in a garage and it's got its own garage. So it's got a garage in a garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just Blaze. keeps it hidden. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, this is the most powerful Focus RS Mark II in the world. Um, it runs 1,010 horsepower. Um, that was the first ever um, brake horsepower it made. It does run 1,056 now. Well, it did until I blew this engine up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is my, my baby. And now you're rebuilding it at the minute, aren't you? And you've got bigger, bigger plans for it. But uh, we won't go into that at the minute. Um, how long have you owned this car? I bought this car uh, 10 years ago um, in February. That's me. I had it 10 years. Um, I always wanted a Mark II. Originally, I had a when fast car, uh, fast Ford and fast car featured my ST back in the day. I painted it like Lamborghini orange. Yeah. I sold it to, to further the business. Yeah. And I always said the only car that would replace it would be a Focus RS. So when the business started doing well, one came up and I had to have it and it was this one. Um, but uh, I didn't actually mean to buy this exact one. I'd went down to buy Quaif's demo car. Right. Uh, so in time, it, I still sound like a pure man, mental moment, but I went down with a backpack with 28 grand in my backpack on a plane to London. And then when I was on my I way... I you put that under your seat. Uh, yeah, I, know, I, was, I, was, I sat so far forward in the plane, I could have flew it. Um, but the, when, I, when I was on my waiting for the plane, uh, I got a text message through from obviously eBay saying an RS had uh, come up and it was only like £13,500. I'm like, well, this, this just could save me a fortune. Message the guy and I said, listen, I'm coming to London. Is there any chance you could pick me up? I'll have a look at yours first before I go to, to see Quaif. And he was driving this. But the funny thing was, it was, it was an accident damage. So this was a stolen recovered. Um, that's why it was so cheap at the time. Low miles had been in a police compound. So what ended up happening was... Yeah, I decided just to buy it. I'm like, you know, we'll take it. We're into his house, and as he backed it into his house, he hit his bollard and took the back bumper off it. I'm like, this is not going well at all. I ended up getting the car for 12 grand. Right. So that 28 grand I had in the backpack, only 12 grand of it went and spent on the car, and then the rest just gets splashed oh. on it. And that's, you know, it was to give myself a. You wouldn't, you wouldn't change a genuine RS. Well, I wouldn't change a genuine RS into something like this. So with it being on the register, it made more sense to do it to, to this than anything else. It meant that no matter what I did, it didn't matter. You know, 
nobody's going to turn and say, oh, you've, you've lost money in this. I'm like, well, it's buying it for me. I wanted a completely custom one. And when you bought it off the guy, was it completely standard? Yeah, yeah, completely standard. Like, I hadn't been mucked about it at all. Uh, when they'd got it, it was, it was in a chop shop, effectively. He'd got the police compound, they built the car back up and sold the car. Um, I brought it back up the road and we basically tore it to bits within a week. You know, we had it stripped and um, painted. This is a, a candy purple peril, the house of colour. So it's inside and out with bare shell re um, respray. I was about to ask you what the colour was. And uh, going back, why do you call it Blaze? I just, um, it was funny because at the time I didn't have a name for it. But when I bought my other RSs, I was like, oh, I've got the yellow one, the purple one. So I gave them names. And the names come from Sonic the Hedgehogs. <laughs> so I'll get Blaze and Shadow outside and Chaos. And it's okay. goofy. I mean, I know it's the goofy. You're calling your car a name, but it just <laughs> it just kind of stuck. Because um, at a time when, you know, these were all about, when they first came out, folk were calling their cars different they names. Were, yeah. You know, it, was just, it, was a, it seems to be a Ford, that, you know, Focus RS. Can we talk about the engine? Yeah, of course. Obviously, we won't go through every single modification on it because we'll be here all night. <laughs> um, but if you could just sort of talk through some of the, the pinnacle... Yeah, of course. The big ones. The, um, the biggest change, obviously, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> an EFR 9180 turbo. That is the biggest turbo that Borg One will do. Uh, it's actually in there, but we have obviously changed the uh, compressor house and stuff like that to gain more power out of it. And we've got a custom uh, equal length manifold off the back, but obviously that doesn't make the power alone. Inside there, we have stage three cams, um, a bigger valved head on it. We have obviously the forged pistons, K1 rods, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's a line block as well, but it's lined and braced and it's ring, uh, wire ringed. So it tries, tries to hold itself together. Unfortunately, at the moment, it doesn't run. Um, we had an oil squatter failure and it, obviously we've lost a ring, piston ring on it. So now we're doing a big conversion to up the power and a new engine. Yeah, and you did tell me off camera what figures you're aiming for. I don't know if you want to reveal that. I'm not going to reveal that, that right yet because then you look like a fool. Yeah, <laughs> but, you don't make it it, well, but, yeah but it's impressive. It, yeah. Like, it's already crazy power. Yeah, it was just, it was just to try and keep it iconic. When Although I've got the cars and whatnot, like, people mainly know me for this car. Yeah. And this it must be my favourite and, and what people seem to like more. I want to try and keep it in the scene a wee bit. If, yeah. you, if you know what I mean, everybody's coming leaps and bounds with these cars. There's so much you can do with them that, um, you know, it sometimes get overshadowed. Um, so to try and do that, you have to try and stay ahead of the game. Yeah. And if I wanted to still be one of the best artists there, then I really have to kind of keep on top of it all. Okay. No, no, this, this whole car was, the whole point was I wanted to customise everything. Like, standard wasn't going to work at all. So everything, every little tiny bit on it has been changed, right down from eye level. Like, eye covers have been flushed. The grills have had centre sections taken at them. So everything you turn around and look at is different. The custom headlights on it as well, as well as a custom bonnet. Now that's obviously Sierra Sapphire bonnet vents. Oh, yeah. And then I took a grinder to this bit, cut it and weld it into, obviously, to help the heat escape. So that's... That was just a standard Ford bonnet that I chopped up, <laughs> but to make it custom. And then the interior's custom as well, so everything was taken out, everything was clad in Napa leather again, and then obviously the boot lid, um, which you'll not see obviously from the camera, but um, it's a custom boot lid that's on it as well, so it was Americanized. And what I, what I call that is, instead of having this great big V at the back, it's just got a small shirt short registration plate. Remember back in the days when you had the Corsas, yeah. and they used to flush the tailgates, the Novas? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but there's an indentation for the smaller plate that obviously hides the, the private plate. So everything on this should be custom, right down to obviously the paint colour and the wheels and even the brake setup in the back as well. Nobody's got that brake setup in the back because what I've done is I've taken the original, um, I'd originally had a set of four piston calipers on the front and I've switched them to the back and then put a set of eight piston oversized on the front. So <laughs> it stops as well as it goes when it goes, when it goes. And you've had loads of features on cars, haven't you? So yeah, I've had over uh, 14, 15 features now. Some of the, the Fords, so it's been, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> uh, it just seems to be. It's obviously all Fords kind of, yeah, but the, the biggest ones, you know, obviously RS turbos, with, uh, you know, turbocharged with nitrous was my first ones. You know, uh, my Focus ST, it ran 31 RS engine in it at the time, so it's just kind of like a natural progression now luckily for me i actually work for fast forward now as well so it's it's kind of cool i get you know every month i've got a little column know, yeah a column that i can put in and here's what i'm doing and here's who's visiting and you and you're also coming to full fair again aren't you yeah yeah Silverstone. yeah i've not missed it and and you know i've not missed it in like 19 years other than the one you know covid yeah. <laughs> in the hit. but yeah uh yeah but i'll be at ford fest and i'll be at ford fair this year and um, between building my house so yeah and they're your favorite shows 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the end that Kelsey McGee is doing, I suppose. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and you've got other Focus RSs and STs, and I think I spotted a couple of them when we drove in earlier. So, did. should we make our way outside? No worries. And go and have a look at those. Let's go. So, again, I recognise this one because I think I featured it in the magazine. You did, back you, in the day. So, that was, that was front cover, you put it on. <laughs> just to put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to talk about this one then? Yeah, well, yeah. So with Blaze going so high spec on it, it didn't become a, a good car you could drive yeah. every day. So I had to have an RRS because I loved them. And this one came up and I, I kind of had to have it. Originally, it's gone through a couple of guises to end up like this. I've had it wrapped grey. It was originally ultimate green, uh, but it's been wrapped grey. It's been look, made to look like a van. But then obviously I had an accident. Um, I'm, it was went viral because I put it on the, the, my race truck and it came off the back of the truck and ran me over. <laughs> so, so I had to, when it hit, it came rolling down here actually and hit my van here. So the back end got hit. So rather than make it look the same, I decided, you know what, let's build something crazy. At the time, Kev, who uh, owns KW, um, had the unit beside me. So we decided, you know what, let's just change the colour, make it completely unique. And we changed the bumpers, body cap. You know, and the full interior's ripped out it as well, so. Yeah, it's nice, and again, this one's big power again, isn't it? Well, this one's, it's actually more reliable, a bit yeah. more reliable power. We've got a forged engine in it, but it's still running a uh, standard uh, RS turbo, and it's running 420 horse, which I know it's still quite a lot of horsepower, but for the, these folks, that's quite low, yeah. but it's reliable, it never lets me down this car. You can go out and have fun, bring it back, and it will just push the button, it'll go in the next day. So it's sort of a bit like a daily show car in a way. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, it's one of these ones where if I'm not working, it's it's probably my go-to car if I'm not in, you know, the Porsche for the daily or stuff like that. You know, this is the, the toy. Yeah, and then the next one, uh, we'll walk, walk over there now, so it's yeah. a nice blue one. Yeah, so this one I've just finished building, um, yeah. and we've decided to take the engine out of it. So this is on air ride, uh, it's sitting up high now so we can do some work in it. So this is wrapped as well with the white darts kit. So unlike this one where we've got them bolted in, yeah. this, I've well moulded these all in to the bumpers. Um, originally it was, a, 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 I can send you the pictures, but it, it looked like a great big monster. It was a monster can, the energy, yeah. all over the top of it, big lady wings. And I'm just like, ah, I need to fix this. Yeah. So I, I took it away and made it into this. Oh, cool. And I can see, I can see a... Yeah, we have a screamer pipe out a on it. Pipe yeah. on it. So, <laughs> um, what kind of horsepower is this one? This, this is running 650. So um, we've got another new engine sitting in the back of my van uh, that's going to get swapped into it just to gain a wee bit more reliable power uh, on it. I think this engine is just teetering on the edge of explosion. <laughs> <with it. laughs> no good, honestly. But um, yeah, once it's done, it'll run a safe 650 with no issues on it. So this is just the donor car for what I call Minty in there, yeah. so, uh, the, the Minty Escort. So this whole car, everything, uh, literally everything, electrical, engine-wise, suspension, will get transferred into that Escort, where obviously a lot of custom parts can get made for it. But yeah, this is just purely a donor car. So now we've looked at Focuses, Escorts, Sierras, but you're missing one real iconic car from the collection. So we're going to have a look at it now, and that's the Ford Mondeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, We've gone through some of your really cool, amazing, iconic falls, and then you got yourself a Mondeo. Yeah. And this is what you brought to Ford Fair last year. I remember you rolling up on uh, rolling up in this. So talk us through this one. Well, different. We, yeah. I was like, do you know what? I didn't have something that was. This was originally my daily, my daily daily. So just a standard Mondeo. Uh, well, it was actually a Titanium X Sport Pack. So it was a, a nice enough car. But when COVID hit, I got bored. I mean, I got really bored, and then decided. I'm going to make something out of this. So we ended up uh, yeah, putting it in the garage at my old house and wrapping it, air ride on it, wheels. And <laughs> it's a bit, of a, a bit of a different flavour to your usual build. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. I was trying to prove a point and, and you'll, I'll probably get stuck for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, a lot of the, the, the VAG lot just do like a three modifications and it's wheels, wrap and air ride. That, then that's it. And I was trying to prove I could get this into a magazine by doing the same three mods. So what I did was I wrapped it, put it in a ride, and put a set of rotor form wheels on it, and the VAG top boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and fast forward, obviously, like, well, we put it in the magazine, no problem, that's amazing. And <laughs> it went in the magazine, and that's all that's done to this car. It, it, there's nothing else fancy done at all. So yeah, another Sierra, this time a four-door, so, yeah. and a white one. Yeah, uh, this, this car here is iconic for me, because this is what got me into Fords. Um, not this exact car, but this exact model. Uh, when I was 10 years old, my dad got a company car, first company car, brand new car, and then came this Sierra GLS, which this is. 
and I just fell in love with it. And for then on, it was just, oh, Fords are amazing. And then you get that and you get Mendeo, but I was always suckered on the Sierra. So by the time you'd seen one of these, you were looking at XR4 eyes, you know, uh, you know the, that, the, excuse me, the Cosworth and stuff like that. Yeah. You just, I mean, I get excited still talking about yeah, it now. You do, yeah. But I always wanted to have one of these in my collection. Uh, and that's the reason why I've got this one. So I'll never sell this one because it's, that's where it started, Dick. It's, it's where it all started. And yeah. I'm just going to look at those seats. They look absolutely brand new. Yeah, the, the whole car, the car's only done 28,000 miles um, for genuine. I've got every receipt and MOT it's ever done. Um, I've, I've only ever done like 30 miles in it. I recommissioned like the discs and pads and all the lines underneath it. But other than that, it's, it's totally original, this car. Totally original. And Even, is that how your dad's one come with, with those? Yeah, well, yeah, his was silver trims because his was the rear wheel drive one. This right. is a more rare, this is the uh, GLS 4x4, right. but it looked exactly like this. Other than obviously his fuel trims were silver, but this was the one I wanted. And is that how you tell them apart? Yeah, 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 so the 4x4 came with these, um, they're actually a pearl painted, believe it or yeah, not, back in the day. Really. Bear in mind, that's 1990. Yeah. Um, that's the only difference, uh, that and the 4x4 badge would be on the back. But underneath the bonnet, and this one's a 2.8 V6, uh, and the GLS standard one's just a 2 litre um, double overhead cam. So. There you go, there's the nerdy bit. Yeah. And I asked you earlier about two Escorts, I said, what one do you want, this one or that one? Yeah. Of, I, I think I already know your answer, but out of all your cars, you've only, you can only keep one. Actually, you can keep three. Well, I can keep three now. But do them in order, so the first, second. Three. Right, the first one has to be Blaze. Yeah. I mean, it just ticks all boxes for everything. The second one would have to be my Escort Cosworth. Yeah. The black one, the ash black one. Yeah. <laughs> Seems really good, my black one. Yeah. Um, but then the other one would have to be Shadow, this, the gold coloured uh, RS. It's, it's everything. It's everything you would want in a car, I think. Uh, the rest of them, I could, I could love if I had sold them. Don't tell the wife about this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, for driving wise, that's certainly the way we go, anyway, oh, that's for sure. Cool. So I know you've enjoyed seeing it a bit here, I can see a smell on your face, but you, I'll give you the choice of all the collection, what car do you want to go around in? You can take me out in a car? I'll take you out around in any one of these, whatever oh, one you want. That's a tough choice. I want to go for the Sierra RS Cosworth just because I want to go down memory lane. The three door? The three door. Let's do it, big man. I haven't been in one of these for well, as I say, like I mentioned earlier, my dad had one, so good gracious, what's that? Probably 32, 30, 32 years. <laughs> They're just old school cool, aren't they? Yeah, it is, yeah. Just try to keep them in a straight line when it's wet. <laughs> it's about, That's what I was saying earlier, is like, what I like about your car collection as well, is that they're all used. Yeah. And they're just, you know, they, some of them have got the little bits of their battle scars and their... Yeah. But that's, that's what's real about them, isn't it? It's, there's nothing worse than people getting these cars. Mate, you know, there's good parts of that as well, but they get these cars, don't they, and wrap, wrap them up in cotton wool, whereas the real enjoyment comes from driving them. Exactly. That's the whole point. If, if you're sitting there, you know, I can appreciate the people that want to look after them, and, and, and I yeah. do look after mine, but there's, I don't wrap them up in cotton wool. I like to go out and have a run in it like it's raining. I'm not afraid to take it out. No. You know, it's, that's, there's no point in me paying the money for these cars and then not actually getting the fun out of um, driving it. <laughs> I love that piss to me. <laughs> Can this spool? Yeah. yeah. It's like, we never what? grow out of that, do nah, we? Nah, all conversations <laughs> stop. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You're like, it's coming on boost. <laughs> but yeah, just, I think they're just uh, such an iconic car. You know, it, it kind of brings you back into the 90s. Like, I know you're sitting here looking at a golf just now and we're trying, but you could well, physically be back in the, in the yeah, 90s, you, could. you know, early 90s with these ones. And what horsepower did you say this one was again? This, this is running about 580, yeah. 600. Um, it's honest, it's turned down turn just now because it's not long being built, so we're kind of still really in the, the running run stages running with it. In, yeah. But um, yeah, it was just, I don't want to have a car that I can't not take out, if that makes sense. I don't see the point in having the cars and hanging them, put them in the corners. The only reason I don't drive them as much is because I'm always working. Yeah. You know, I'm always working to pay for them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the killer. You get your it. next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to drive quite nice, just like a normal. Yeah, I mean, never. I mean, it's not been long. It's long been built, to be honest with you. So this is the first it's actually been driven. Even when uh, uh, we built it, I brought it back home in the trailer and I've stuck it in the unit. Oh, okay. I just had a chance to, to drive it. So. So this is one of your first times out. This is the actual it? first time out. Oh, this, is the, this is the I'm first privileged. Time. Yeah, so it breaks down, it's your fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we should be fine. But... I was just hearing that whiskey chatter. <laughs> it's actually surprising that I haven't heard any 
mega knocks and bumps, you know, with old cars. Yeah. Bear in mind, this is my first time driving it as well, so, I mean, it, when I got it, it wasn't really running right, so it gets sent away. So this is the first outing it's had, so I didn't know if anything squeaked or farted or, or, or moved or anything like that, so, yeah. You'll be out in it all weekend now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll certainly be cleaning it anyway, that's for yeah. sure. Uh, the, there used to be a Ford garage at the end of the street, uh, and yeah. McConaughey's owned it, and I remember him inviting me down when I was a boy to see the cars that they had in stock, and it was like the Sierra Cosworths and the Esco Cosworths, and I'm like, oh my God, they took me a run in them, and I'm just like, I was just so happy to be in the car, you know? And, yeah. You know, he's like, oh, you can put your window down, oh, I can press the electric button, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's, it seems daft now, but those things, it's like, that's why, see when I go to the shows, and you've got the young kids coming up with their parents, and the parents are always like, oh, can he, can my boy sit inside it? I'll always let them sit in it because it's it kind of spurs them on to, yeah, to get into the car. They, they get that love as well, don't they? Yeah. I love the en engine management light and the fuel. fuel. <laughs> the so main, we've got its own separate panel. The main thing is they're not lit up. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bonus. But it is, it's usually a bit of black tape. Yeah. Someone's just taking the bulb out of the back. <laughs> yeah, it's the old trick. Don't get my hands <laughs> away. You're rude not to do a donut, eh? No, I'm not. Thank you very much. No problemo. And I, I kept it safe. You did. You did. <laughs> very for, respectful. For once. <laughs> so Grant, thank you so much for letting us look at your amazing Ford collection. Um, I'm quite envious. Got some absolutely stunning stuff here. Um, so yeah, thank you for that, mate. Hey, my pleasure. Hey, Jane. No problem. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.